Yeah, we thought that before uh, we elected Barack Hussein Obama. Uh, names don't matter anymore and backgrounds don't matter anymore. We're past all that. I think Vivek has a great chance. And um, I think that the United States could elect a guy like him. The thing is, though, that you have to build a track record. You have to build rapport. You have to build relationships. It takes a long time to do all that stuff. Ronald Reagan, a lot of people don't know this, ran for president twice before he ran in 1980. He ran 1968 and he ran 1976. And he ran again in the primary against Gerald Ford in the 1968. Uh, he ran in the primary against Nelson Rockefeller and he ran against um, uh, Nixon. And uh, he started in politics in 1964, working with Barry Goldwater as a, a surrogate in that ca disastrous campaign. And, and But he was the only shining star they had. And then he became governor of California, built political career. So it took between 1964 when he entered and 1980 to actually ascend to the presidency. It's a long journey. It's a lot of things. And he had to lose twice before he won on the third time. So, you know, if Vivek is really serious about this, if he wants to go on the Reagan journey, he can, but it's going to take some time. Donald Trump was thinking about running for president seriously since 2000. It took him 16 years to go from 2000 to 2016, and he was waiting for the right timing. He almost did it in 2012, but he did a calculation and realized that America wasn't really in that right structure. But he'd play golf with Rush Limbaugh and other people, you know, and, you know, every two, three months, Limbaugh would come to his golf club and he'd talk to Limbaugh extensively for hours. Like, what, where's the Republican Party at? What's going on? He'd call Steve Bannon. You know, he'd talk to all these guys. And what he did is he took Mike Savage's borders language culture whole framework, combined it with some of B uh, Bannon's nationalist framework, and then did the good old fashioned Roger Stone Nixon political ops and put these things together into kind of a coalition and then ran it on a very populist build the wall, lock them up, uh, anti establishment candidacy. Radically different Trump from 2000, radically different Trump from the 1980s. And so, you, that's the kind of reinvention you have to have. The Vic is following Trump style national populism. You can't out Trump Trump. It's just not possible. He's Trump. You're not going to go and be better at Trump than being Trump. The best you can do is be a crude simulacro like uh, Ron DeSantis, who's basically betting that Trump will be taken off the table because he'll be in a prison cell and ineligible somehow. And so the voters have to go somewhere and either they go to him or DeSantis uh, either him or Vivek, those are the two guys vying for that throne, and he has a better organization, but even that, he's fucked it up, which is sad for him, and he had no reason to run. He should have waited until uh, 2024, because he would have been, in uh, 2028, he would have been in the cabinet and got, or been the VP pick.